Happy Thursday, witches. Today's card poll is from our Witch Oracle card deck. Written by Angie Sullins. Artwork is by Silas Tabal. Today's note from our Witch's Almanac is that the moon is in Capricorn. And today's reminder also says that it would be nice to give a gift of garlic. Failures Muse Many of us are terrified of failure. Just the potential of it feels like a lurking presence in the woods, a toothy howl that can send chills down our spine. But when we're willing to fail, those sharp teeth can become our ally. When we dare to befriend what we fear most, we become not only resilient, but fierce. More dreams are killed by not trying than by failure. Not risking is a guaranteed way of avoiding failure, but it's also a guaranteed way to forfeit the savory feeling of success. The wolves of your psyche are howling that you'll die if you don't succeed. They're lying. Their growls may be terrifying, but so are you. Your soul is forged of lightning and stardust. It cannot be destroyed but only you can prove its truth. Yourself, by getting back up after failure and insisting on remembering who you really are and what you are really made of. A woman in total control of herself greets the wolves of failure with flowers, for she understands that there is magic in the wake of a fiasco and that failure gifts her with the chance to refine her plan and her purpose. Any path that leads astray shows us how to find a better way. When we embrace failure, we tame the beast that once terrified us, becoming fierce with reality. Find out what you're made of, befriend your failure, and growl at fear. Now, in many cultures, failure is not something that we see in a positive light. So what if, what if we were able to see failure as an opportunity instead of seeing it as an awful, terrible, no good, very bad thing? We aren't taught to see the excitement of the opportunity that comes with when we learn from that failure. I mean, what if we could see failure as something that we could be proud of? I mean, come on. The guy who invented the light bulb tested it over 800 times. If he had given up that one time before at work and hadn't learned anything from all those other experiments, would we still be using candles and glass lamps? Experiments fail sometimes. We have to learn from them. Today's challenge is to look at any failure you've experienced as something you can be proud of or learn something from.